Hello and welcome to Age of Wind 3. This seems to be a piratey game on the Android App Store. It's free, so let's give it a shot and see how it goes. White Jack is telling us using the and holding the right arrow will steal the ship to the right. No crap. It's not even letting me do it, it's just popping up new messages. Okay. There's some stuff on the water right now. Um let's try to go fix this, pick them up or something. Let's try to pick these guys up. Uh we got some we got some fish, we got some magic pollen, gunpowder as well. Okay, um, let's just skip all, let's just get into the game. Um, so there's a ship in our range there, we can bomb it. Yeah, I remember back in the day on Pop Cup there was a game very similar to this. I guess that's, this is kind of like a spin-off of one of those. Um, yeah, you can equip different guns and weapons onto your ship. Beat up other ships, pick up their loot, stuff like that. Right now our range is... Uh, that bit so we can Fire. shoot here and we can win this Keep way. Okay. Good shot. Nice. More enemies. I wonder if there's actually some uh, ship customization as well. Pretty sure there will be actually. So there we go. Heavy treasure. Uh, well, yeah, these are the kind of games that actually would get gnarly with the microtransactions, so let's hope it's not that terrible. Ship uh oh. That one missed, isn't it? Yeah, the ship is very sluggish right now. I'm pretty sure you can upgrade that as well. But yeah, this is the kind of sh uh, game that usually have the crappy microtransaction timers and that kind of stuff. Oh crap, I launched that barrel for no reason. Um, let's try to scoop up all this loot. There's more people coming at us. Okay. Um, what's with the crosshairs on the screen? Um, is that where they're going to do that? I'm not sure, but um... Yeah, we're gonna get oh, this right now. Um, I'm, I'm, out. I'm trying to pick up the loot at the same time. Fire! Uh, did we go in? No? Darn it. Let's just go pick up the loot. We'll get them on the way. Yeah, this is not the most engaging thing so far. I really wish this opening bit was a bit shorter so we can actually get the actual ship building and if, if that's a thing. But yeah. Um, there's cargo as a currency there, as well as crew, and then there's another thing on top. This is the one that I'm guessing... Okay, we got a map or something. Yeah, I'm guessing the, the one on top here is like the fuel equivalent, I guess. The one that usually has the nasty microtransactions that tell you, uh, wait 10 minutes to get more fuel or pay 5 bucks and you can refill it instantly. You know how that works. Um, what the hell is this? Holy crap, <laughs> that's terrifying, okay, let's uh, get into the menu perhaps, where is this going to take us, to move across the global map, just double tap the destination with your finger, okay, um, you added some cool features and all, no, 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 uh, that's, that's, yeah, you can double, double tap to set sail, great, nice little 3D effect on the map as well, that's pretty cool, so we're going to the next, uh, cove, cape, whatever that is, port, yep, yeah. Welcome to Pirate Cove Port. Like any other port here, you'll find shop, tavern, and shipyard. Everything a brave gentleman needs for exciting something, something. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the market. Okay. So there's a currency right now. Um, you can sell if you want to sell specific products. Simply highlight it. Okay. We don't. Want, mm, let's just try to sell. Actually, um, just uh, sell all the coffee. So just sell all. So yeah, we got some currency, so we can be sure that that's the uh. That's the in-game currency. Uh, re Repine ship with rum for a long life of happiness. Yeah, that's that's a good thing to teach kids. Um, <laughs> let's go to buy, so we can safely just buy gunpowder without microtransactions popping onto our faces. I lied. <laughs> just as I said it. Um, yeah, it's showing us two hundred and ten dollars. That's a new low, guys. Holy crap! Yeah, nobody ever ever pay that money okay if you're in your right in mind please don't ever pay 210 dollars for 3 million gold <laughs> this does seem like the honorable in game currency though um, we can reduce the amount that we want so you can actually afford it um yeah we just bought a whole bunch of gunpowder um awesome let's go to the tavern now okay i want to see the other um what is this we can gamble now holy crap uh this is terrible Okay, roll the dice. Let's see how this works. I really hope this. Yeah, this is a gambling game. Could you imagine? 
I didn't have em enough to p to play. This is terrible. This is the kind of stuff that I want to end. This is gambling. It's barefaced gambling, which you pretty much don't have a chance of winning back any money. It's one-way gambling. You're throwing your money at the game. You're going to lose your money in the gambling mini game that it has here. And it's on par with real-life gambling. And I feel this kind of stuff needs to be policed better. It's just it's just a free free fall all day right now. Just anyone can go and play this thing. Kids, adults, everyone. And there's a freaking microtransaction button right there. That you can buy 3 million money for $200. Which is insanity. Yeah, enough of ranting about that, but yeah, that kind of stuff really needs to end. It really does need to end. A devil! A local cartographer doesn't know a thing about old maps. Okay, let's just skip all that. Okay, okay, okay. We got some money or something. Okay, let's actually go gamble. Oh crap, no, you need a thousand, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, let's not, let's not advertise your gambling anyway. Shipyard. Let's see how we can build ships. I'll complete nine more quests to upgrade your ship or buy a new one, okay? I, I can't do anything to my ship right now. Well, that sucks. Um, let's see what you can see in the background. Um, it has different capacities and stuff, and you can build it, upgrade the old one. But there doesn't seem to be specific customizations. But in terms of weapons and stuff, you can just buy new ships. So yeah, uh, that's disappointing. Um, to the docks, I guess. Um, no. how do we take off? How do we even take off from here? Yeah, that 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 mighty transaction model is a real horrible turn off though. Oh, and there's more. Holy crap! Yeah, these are the famous gems. Another two hundred dollars for eleven thousand. Oh crap! Yeah, guys, this is yeah. When when will this end? When will you guys start making proper games that are not trying to milk people of their monies? This is terrifying. I can't recommend this game because of that. First of all, that gamble system that I saw. Second of all, they broke the record in terms of in terms of the maximum price. It's usually uh, ninety nine dollars. This one is two hundred and ten dollars. So yeah, that's um yeah. I'm pretty sure you can get better games out there. Lots of better games. But if you really like pirates and really like blowing ships up with other ships, then go to popcop.com and you can probably find that old ship blowing up game. Don't don't play this. <laughs> don't play this unless you're really desperate. Anyhow, yeah, I'm gonna end this video now. I don't really want to play any more of it just because uh, it's kind of disgusting. Yeah, the microtransactions are terrible. That one that we just saw, the gems, they're not earnable in games, so you, the only way we can get them is by paying. So, um, yeah, good luck with that if you're gonna try it. Anyhow, um, as we sail out into whatever the heck this is, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want more. And until next time, later.